So it's not the fact that the staff moves them between, I've never seen a lot of comments online talking about it. Uh, there's a different way that they transport between the two maps. Uh, so that's just the property of that trailer. Um, Was there anything else you want to say? Anything else you want to say more about the connection? The connection, um, no. Uh, okay. They, okay. <laughs> I swore on this project I was going to give up being cryptic. Um, he says, pointing at his t-shirt. Yeah. Um, uh, but I'm, I'm going to kind of hold a couple of things back. Oh, okay. He's not going to see me. The one thing I would say is that um, we saw some of the altars for the gods, and obviously I want to leave that out for the community to kind of think about. But um, just to give a little bit of helping hand, uh, those altars are a little bit like the perk machines. But, I think we said in Reveal, the fact that you can choose which perks you assign, those perk vapors, you assign them to the different gods. So those statues, those, those altars are always there, but what you have assigned to them is what's going to come out of them. So just to kind of help people understand, because I've seen a little bit of confusion online about that. Um, that never happens. That never happens. Um, trust me, there's enough stuff in there to confuse you on top of all this. Um, one other thing, which I thought I'd hit, would be, talk, you know, on the, on the reveal of them, we talked about uh, different social systems, different ways that we're going to keep the audience engaged over time. Um, I thought now would be a good time to also confirm that we're going to be supporting uh, the concept of factions in Black Ops 4. Ooh. So when you, when you play the game, you can associate yourself with a certain kind of faction, and there'll be quests and narrative and other things being developed as you play through your, your six months to your year's worth of kind of gameplay, yeah. uh, telling you uh, another dimension to the story. Yeah. Um, so there's going to be four factions. There's going to be the Blood Faith, yes. the Dustborn, yes. the Tempest Novi, yes. and the First Legion. So you guys are the first to hear about factions. You have four factions in the game. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's, uh, that's another kind of twist, another kind of angle. It's, that's quite a crucial competition. It, uh, yeah, it's, it's you know, who do you kind of stand with, and um, what does that mean? And what are you learning as you kind of progress along that, uh, that path? So, even more narrative stuff. That's why Craig's so tired. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Very tired. <laughs> can we oh fight the zombie tiger? The zombie tiger? Well, there, there. Can, can we fight him? Yes, you can, yes. Yeah. yeah. Lots of zombie tigers. There's lots of them. Oh, and by the way, that is not the main boss of the level. You? I saw someone saying that, like, is that the main boss? We never show the main boss in this no, game. <laughs> so that's not the main boss, no. What, what other zombies have been tigers? Oh. Oh. Well, this is where I get worried, you know, we were joking about this, you know yeah. how um, Benedict Cumberbatch batch, yes. always has to slap Tom Holland for saying things that shouldn't be saying in the Marvel movies. Are you, um, you Spider-Man in this example? I, I am Spider-Man in this example, so I, I, I need to let Dr. Strange I, do the talking. I, I, will, I will only confirm the ones that you've seen so far, which is obviously that gladiator that you saw in the trailer, um, and the zombie tiger, All right. which is not a tiger by the way. In case anyone wants to suggest that. I heard that suggested. It's not a sign. Oh. <laughs> I think the answer is lots. 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 Yep. All right. So one of the things I've heard you guys talk a little bit about uh, in the past is sort of the, uh, the idea of, of transformation as a theme. Uh, how, does that, how does that play into this experience? Uh, I mean, part of, that is the, part of that is the narrative for people to, uh, to uncover. The one thing I would say is the ether story uh, if you were to follow it, if that was happening in the world, our timeline and our history would be all effed up very, very quickly because the amount of zombies running around the world. In the, in the Chaos story, uh, it's all very contained. So obviously the two maps you've seen so far, you've seen one you know, back in, in you know, very early you know, BC AD times, and then you've seen one on the Titanic nice. where... Yeah, you've seen one on the Titanic where not many people were writing journals at that moment in time. Um, so, one main difference I'd say about the, kind of the chaos story is that um, it supports itself with our understanding of history, okay. um, which then gives us kind of great latitude to go to different points in history, explore different things, um, different mythologies, different narratives uh, inside that story, because we can we can now self-contain, we can now control it in a better, in a better way. All right, so we've got. Ten years of zombies. There's um, there's a lot to unpack with with three experiences. If I'm a casual player, if I'm kind of new 